Yo, good morning guys, I'm RJ. I'm Brent. And this is WD Detailing, and today we are not in our normal location, we are on site at a customer's home, and we have uh, the most ridiculous barn find ever. We've ever found, Yeah, ever. It's, it's wild. This, this car's been sitting for over 15 years in a barn. Uh, the layer of dirt, dust, and garbage that's on top of it is insane, especially for as nice of a car uh, that it is, so. Um, we have actually been trying to coordinate this with the owner uh, to make sure that we had the perfect setting, the perfect weather, to make sure that we brought the best video to you guys. Um, side note, we also did not write the wash me on the hood. That was not us. We would never scratch a car that way. Um, but we're going to do uh, a full wash on the exterior. We're going to decon it. We're going to polish it. And uh, yeah, we think this is going to be one of our best videos yet. So stay tuned and let's get into it. All right, guys, so we got to bend over for this, but we're about to reveal the car to you. You guys saw it in our last video, a little teaser of it, so without any further ado. So this Corvette actually doesn't even start. It's being fixed up currently, meaning RJ and I actually had to push it out of the garage with the owner to be able to work on it. Just for a point of reference, I'm a six foot two human, and this Stingray's hood, my wingspan's probably around six, two, six, three. Oh, that's a long ass hood, man. Yeah. That's a long ass hood, man. <laughs> Okay, so to give a little backstory on this Corvette, it was sitting in a barn collecting dust for at least 15 years, possibly even 20, we're not sure. But it was originally white and then it was resprayed to a beautiful purple color that you'll see come out as the video progresses. And to be honest, I think this is our best before and after ever, so please just watch the entire video. You don't want to miss the final outcome. It's awesome. And I should also point out that we planned to film the interior. It wasn't in horrible shape, but unfortunately it started raining as soon as we got done with the exterior. So we couldn't film that, but I think you guys will still enjoy what we got. And finally, before we get into washing the car, I think it's time for the question of the video and it's a two part question. So we didn't tell you guys the year of this car. And the first part of the question is we want you guys to try to guess what year it is. And the second part of the question, we want to know what your favorite type of detail is to watch on YouTube. Do you guys like to see the barn finds like this video? Do you enjoy the muddy, hairy Jeeps? Do you like the disgusting, destroyed disaster details? What's your favorite? Leave it in the comments below.
so now that we have the whole car sprayed off initially, we'll move to the wheels where we use our brake buster. And if you guys are interested in any of the products you see us use in our videos, they'll all be linked in the description below. And as usual, we'll take a soft bristle brush and hit all the spots that our wash mitt might miss. So while we wash off the car, if you guys are enjoying this video and you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe to our channel, it helps us a lot. And make sure you also like the video. And I should also mention, if you guys are interested, we're almost out of our merch completely. If you go to our website in the description below and use the code WD15, you'll get 15% off on your order. And lastly, if you made it this far, if you guys are interested in some hoodies, we could definitely do that. Leave a comment below and if we see the demand, we'll go ahead and make some for you guys. At this point, we covered the car in iron fallout remover to get any iron particles out of the paint. And then after washing it off again, we clay barred it with our clay mitts to get anything remaining on the surface of the vehicle before using the buffer to remove the oxidation. We did a little test spot to make sure the pad and polish combination was right for the vehicle and we were actually very happy with the first combo we picked so we went ahead and did it on the rest of the car.
And after polishing the whole car, we wiped it down with the sealant to give it an extra layer of protection. And at this point, the paint was literally as smooth as butter. And all that was left was to dress the tires and this baby was good to go. Alright guys, so we have been trying to plan this detail for about a month. We were trying to make sure that the weather was perfect, that the lighting was perfect, all the above. And sure enough, the one day that we did pick, it's starting to rain. Uh, and there's leaves going all over the, the fresh exterior of the car, as you can see them falling down. Um, so unfortunately, we aren't going to have the time to film the interior for this Friday's video. But uh, it really isn't that bad in comparison to the exterior of the vehicle. Um, so hopefully you still enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed the video, as usual, Leave a like for us, subscribe to the channel with your notifications on. Um, and if you guys enjoyed this Corvette, uh, RJ's stepdad actually has a brand new one, right? Yeah, 2020 C8 Corvette. So uh, if you guys want to see that, uh, leave a comment below. Maybe we can get it and we can film it for you guys. Uh, and other than that... Ben, we'll you want to say goodbye? Uh, up here. Up. It's RJ's dog. <laughs> Let's bring your dog say to bye. work day. Say bye. See you guys next Friday. <laughs> Peace.